Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles, and I'm going to show you how to change the oil on an FTR 1200. Now, when should you be doing this? If it's your first oil change, brand new motorcycle, 500 miles. After that, every 10,000 miles is the recommended oil change interval. You should probably do it a little sooner than that in my book, but Indian says 10,000, so that's what we're going with. You're not going to need a bunch of tools to do this. Six millimeter Allen, torque wrench, some sort of wrench to get your oil filter off and a drain pan will do the job. As for oil, you need three quarts or 2.8 liters of your favorite oil. We're gonna use 7100 Motul in the 1550 flavor. Most of this work is gonna be done on the other side of the bike, on the left-hand side as you would sit on it. That's where your drain plugs and your oil filters are gonna be. So let's get over there and get to work. You're actually gonna need to remove two drain plugs. They're on the bottom of the engine case down here. They're the two that are facing straight down. We're gonna go ahead and take the oil filter off. It is this way on the bike, right in front of the engine here. Easiest way to get that off is with a strap wrench. If you don't have one of these, it's a real handy thing to have in your toolbox. If you don't have one, you can go all garage mechanic and just grab this thing with some channel locks. Not only do we need to wipe these bolts off, we need to replace the crush washers with new ones. Then we're gonna put them back in the engine case and torque them to 15 foot-pounds. So before we put our oil filter on, we're gonna make sure our gasket surface is clean. We're gonna preload our filter with some oil. We're gonna run a little bit of oil around the edge of our gasket. We're gonna spin it on there and we tighten it up. Once it starts to tighten down, when it touches the surface, we're only gonna turn it about three quarters of a turn by hand. So now I'm gonna take the quart that I preloaded my oil filter with. I'm gonna dump it in here, plus two more quarts, giving us a grand total of three quarts of oil. So I'm gonna run that bike bring it up to temperature, then I'm gonna let it sit. I want that oil to end up right about the middle of the sight glass after it all drains back down after you give it the warm up. If you're doing this in the garage, bike's on the kickstand, stand the bike straight up and down when you read your oil level. We're just where we need to be in the sight glass. Remember to dispose of your oil properly. Don't be dumping this behind your neighbor's garage somewhere. Take it to a good oil disposal place. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop us a comment. Go work on those motorcycles.